It's like it came on the scene and like two years later it was gone. It's kind of unfortunate for it, but... Well, it's not a it, real thing, so I don't feel bad. I, <laughs> well, Trip, the people involved, I mean. The people involved in Trip Hawkins... Because they really account. were visionaries. Yeah, there was a lot of good ideas with it, but that's not always what makes the most popular product. Yeah, good ideas don't always lead to success. And as power, most power, or as powerful as your machine is, doesn't warrant a, a high price tag. It it won't it won't sell to the mass population. Because a lot of people still look at these as toys. Which, you know, you can do that too, but you've got to be able to, to make that money back, and they just didn't make the money back in any way. Yeah. So, even selling them at the high price, uh, they didn't sell enough. So, that's what they kind of ended up with, and that's what we'll be looking at here. It's unfortunate that really the true innovators in this, co in this industry all kind of went under, you know what I mean? As far as hardware makers go. Well, With Sega going under, and they were the, you know, entrepreneurs of online. You know, they were the first ones to really pursue it. And then you had 3DO, who was trying to basically do a set-top box before anyone else tried it. Yeah. And now it takes uh, a lot of of power and money to get into this industry. So you hear Madden talking a lot. We get a, a lot of He's Madden here. A lot of voice work samples on this. And the players are really loud too. Like the, It's kind of clear. This is really showing uh, the dedication that EA put in to the system, you know, with the, the close-knit relationship, they really put their best foot forward on the 3DO, and we'll see a lot of that. Oh. Yeah, you'll see a lot during this video where we cover a lot of different EA games. This is going to be kind of a running theme throughout this this video which was a wise move uh, and as we've seen historically in the industry uh, to succeed you need to have a lot of strong first party titles and uh, 3DO didn't own EA but the relationship with Trip Hawkins was strong enough considering he ran both companies that they essentially were the first party developer for the 3DO and we'll also see how uh, EA really covered all genres with the titles too which is what they needed to do you know there's a little bit of everything on it as far as what they did have touchdown and you see we get the little video of the man look at that dance. dance look at that in 1994 with uh, the CD power they were able to get some nice basic dances there good dance animation there and really brings the extra to that touchdown celebration they had a pretty tough team back then. Yeah. But you've got Elway. Let's see if he can do his infamous two minute drill here. This is it, yeah, this is this is Elway's game. He's got five minutes to get two touchdowns. <laughs> Safety. <laughs> well, well, we didn't we, succeed on that endeavor. I don't think that helped your cause. No, not in the slightest. Probably shouldn't have ran back to the end zone. Guess onside kicks are out of a question. Um, you should be able to Bubble. onside kick. Oh. Whoa. 
Look at this! Turn of fortune! The tables have turned and here we see the randomness of Madden come into play. Now you have your opportunity again with great field position. Could Ray bring it back? We shall see. We shall see. And we won't get a save. On console of wars of the past. Now we've uh, looked at a lot of Madden throughout this series because uh, consistently it, it sells so well in America because football is the dominant professional sport and uh, and their production levels are so high with these games and you really see it here there was uh, a nice video intro to this game Madden games truthfully push system power and you see there uh, he was trying to catch the ball up in the air that was something pretty cool for the time having the ball you know bounce out of the receivers hands and have them still try and catch it you know a lot of cool stuff that they were uh, doing and really had the premier football game at the time without question Ah, oh, I had him open and this is a really good version of it so uh, if you pick up a 3DO and are looking for for Madden it it's definitely worth playing yeah this would be one of the games to get for it for for sure and it, as opposed to the other 16-bit Maddens of the time it it is definitely far superior in in all regards looks great plays great sounds great well you know that was a look at the pretty much great Madden for the 3DO the one and only and there were a lot of EA sports games there was FIFA the hockey games I believe and uh, you know everything EA was doing at the time so and so if you're into sports it's a great uh, great sports system there's not a lot but the ones that are on it are good yeah they're probably the best versions of the time yeah so check them out strategic simulations incorporated makers and providers of Dungeons and Dragons goodness and this is an an official AD&D game yeah TSR even put their name on it yeah and we'll also see that a lot of big names lined up for the 3DO we looked at a Warhammer license title and uh, this is a D&D &D license title and so they tried to pull in a, the uh, the gamer culture, the pen and paper RPG, -er. and they really tried to pull everyone in with the breadth of titles that were tried to push on this. So uh, let's get back into Trip Hawkins' story. He founded EA. They had a lot of early successes on the PC and then the home systems. They had a huge successful run with a lot of uh, innovative titles. And then um, he decided around 1991 that he wanted to do his own thing. Like he had established what you know what he wanted to do with Electronics Arts, and he wanted to move on to something different. Yeah, he looked at uh, what was going on in the uh, industry and thought that he could do things better, and thought that there was a new big wave of what was coming, and it was called. CD-ROM. Oh, he fell in love with the CD-ROM technology and decided to form basically a consortium to put out his new brand. Uh, we have a philosophy of having products that are simple, hot, and deep. <clears throat> simple so that you don't have to read a lot of instructions. Of course, most people don't want to have to learn how to operate the computer. They want to just uh, do things with it right away. Uh, we also like to have products that are hot uh, in that they should fully use the sound and graphics and other capabilities of the machine. And we also look for programs that are deep. In the case of Pinball Construction Set, uh, you can make your own pinball game. So it has a lot of create, creative uh, possibilities and allows people to control what they're going to make and interact with it and change it. And that's one of the things that extends the uh, life of the product and causes people to come back to it again and again. Go.